number 8 is Saishu Heki Kanajo, or simply known as Saikano. Um, this manga was made by Shin Takahashi, uh, and he's also the creator of the Hito and Kimi no Kakera. Um, Saikano was originally serialized in Chagankunkan's big comic Spirits magazine. Um, it's had its, ma its uh, anime and OVA series, and there's even a, a live-action movie adaptation of it, of it that was made in 2006. The story begins with, with Shuji, a high school student in a Hokkaido coastal city, uh, that has recently started a, relation a relationship with his girlfriend, Jize, the main female character in the series. Um, one day, while Shuji is shopping, uh, Unknown bombers attack the city in broad daylight. After the attack, Shuji wanders through the wreckage only to stumble upon Chize. She looks different because she has metal wings and weapons attached to her body. And thus begins Saikano. I know, I know, it seems a little far-fetched and all, but the story is quite intense. Like Bitter Virgin, as I said before, it's a deeply emotional title and uh, it can bring you to tears. The ending is sure to bring you to tears as it, as it did me. The story revolves around war and the relationship between uh, Shuji and Shize. There's a, a clear critic criticism about war in this title. Um, it por portrays the, the effects of war in people's lives. It, it portrays how war can, is always a negative thing that no good can come from and such. All the main characters in the series begin as your typical teenagers and all. Uh, but uh, as the story progr progresses, there's also a progression of the, the character's personality. They grow to be more mature characters, uh, especially Chize and Shuji. You know, being the main characters and all, it's kind of obvious. Uh, even the side characters get their own personal growth. Um, like uh, Akemi, and even even though they are side characters, but I like I liked that they had uh, their own growth. These characters also mature, and their mature and the fact that they mature makes this the the main characters mature as well. Um, even even though these side characters don't have the happiest of endings, the artwork isn't amazing. But it's really fun to watch. Uh, um, the artwork is all cutesy and all. It, but it, it's not uh, sickening cute. It's enough. It's cute enough. You know. Um, um, it's not your. It's not uh, drawn like most shoujo manga is, and that's kind of a, a positive, a positive thing to to see in, in a shoujo manga that's not drawn like a shoujo. Um, but it's really pleasant to the eye, and uh, it gives you an idea of uh, of your of the character's surroundings and feelings and all, like uh, it did to Better Virgin, as I've said before. Yeah, that's it. The strong points, the Saikano's strong points are definitely the story and the character development. The artwork, it's pleasant to watch but not amazing at all. Um, so based on this judgment, I give this manga a 17 out of 20. <laughs> Number 7, it's Shamu. Shamu is a Japanese action manga with uh, a lot of dark themes surrounding. It was discontinued because the weekly manga action went out of business, uh, because now it's on haters due to a lawsuit. Shamu was created by Izo Ashimoto and illustrated by Akio Tanaka. Shamu 
is a very dark theme manga, and uh, it even had its uh, a live action adap adaptation in 2007. The plot for this manga starts off very intense right from the beginning. It tells the story of Ryo Narushima. The boy just killed his parents in cold blood, eventually uh, becomes a cold-blooded martial artist. Shamu the first the lot from other seinen manga that the story's protagonist is actually a very unsympathetic villain and remains that way throughout the whole series. Throughout the manga, Ryo shows no regret of ever murdering his parents and is shown repeatedly committing morally repugnant crimes such as assault, rape and so on. Ryo Narushima by itself can be representation of everything that's wrong in human nature. He is depicted as a Byronic hero that continues to spiral into darkness. He is impulsive, he is destructive, he is self-destructive and yet he does nothing more than to steep lower into darkness. Aside from Narushima, everyone else is a side character. And side characters in this story don't have really much of uh, character development at all. Um, they are just there to uh, help or be an obstacle to, to Narushima. Um, and as I said before, uh, Narushima is, in his own way, the very definition of an, an anti-hero. He is everything that embodies evil in this this world. His character development leads to seeing uh, human nature in, in its rawest form. Um, about the artwork, um, well, not everyone will like the drawing style here. I think it's very detailed, and like O'Great's style, it's very detailed. It's uh, it, portray it shows a lot of per uh, perspective in certain points. Uh, it's also very pictographic, very... It's extremely well done and worked out. And to me, it makes it one of the best looking mangas I've ever read. This manga uh, appeals to the dark side of the human heart. Uh, even though most people will look away at uh, these kinds of things, I, I tend to never look away because this is a part of us. Darkness is a part of us. Uh, good, and, you know, all those things that can exist without the other. Uh, good can exist without evil. Light can exist without darkness. It's all complementary. One completes the other. And even though people tend to look away at the darkness of, tend to look away at their own darkness or the, even the darkness of others, you can never, you should do that because. Darkness is a part of you. Embrace it. But anyway, I digress. Um, uh, the artwork is really well worked out as well. Um, even though most people won't like the, the art style, I like it. And that's why it's in my top 10. Um, and yeah, the story itself is very dark. Very... Very dire. And that's about it. Um, with that said, I give this manga a final score of, of 17 out of 20.